Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl here, Ella. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, you all. I'm a law student at the University of Birmingham in England, UK, and I talk about my experience as a law student, international student, entirely on this channel. I've done a lot of videos and I encourage you, as you're watching this one today, be sure to keep watching all of them as well stay up to date with me okay <laughs> remember to subscribe to today's video subscribe to the channel not only to today's video like leave me a comment if you have any questions concerns or suggestions share this video whilst watching or after watching and remember to turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i post my videos today's video is going to be about surviving law school i've got some mental health tips that are going to be helpful to students like myself just know that being in law school going to law school getting into law school is not a be all and end all of life you also have to be able to take care of yourself in order for you to survive and i have come up with some helpful tips i've written down here in my notes and i'll just be shedding light and talking about them today over the course of this video as you watch on if you have any questions leave them for me in the comment section if you have any tips as well i'll be very very happy if you're able to share them in the comment section with all of us so we all know how to survive and navigate life as students uh, in law school as well anything uh, helpful is much appreciated the first suggestion i have will be for you to set realistic goals what do i mean by that your goals don't have to be obviously you can have a, a good large goal in general in life but you have to make sure that you're realistic with yourself so for example let's say you're taking on six modules in a specific semester which is what i did in my final semester of first year i had six modules and for each module you might have say five readings per module so five times six is what whatever that is i'm not a math student i will put the answer up here <laughs> yeah so if you're doing you know five times you know five readings per each module and you say you want to do everything in that particular week that's not a realistic goal for you to set you have to set achievable goals for the most part if you're doing it uh, on a weekly on a daily basis say okay today i have this amount of classes i have this amount of free time this is realistically what i can achieve that's going to be really, really helpful. You don't have to set an overwhelming goal for yourself that you know deep in your heart or you've tried before and you know you're not going to be, achieve, be able to achieve them. That's just going to make you feel down. So the first thing is for you to set realistic goals that will really, really help you with survival mode and survival mentality. Because if you're setting those goals and you're checking off your list, then you feel good about yourself. Trust me, it works. The next thing will be for you to set a healthy diet plan you know meal prep food plan depending on you if you're you know wealthy or rich enough you're the person that likes to order food and have them delivered to you and that's what works for you good and fine make use of that if you're one that likes to you know cook what you have just set out time to eat good and healthy meals not a lot of junk meals you need all those nutrients for you to help with your brain with studying with you know being able to sleep well being active and all that good stuff having a healthy meal plan generally is really really good for law students and we have a lot to do in school so it's always good to balance the other side of you know of life which is obviously everything else that has to do with our health and speaking about that that brings me to another point would be which would be exercising i'm not one to always exercise before obviously i'm trying to change that this summer and i've been trying to change that this year and it's been good for me so far but what i found was that when i exercised while i was in school that really really helped with my mindset i used to hear people saying that all the time well, when you exercise it's good for you it makes you disciplined when you go to the gym when you do this workout and blah 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 it didn't really make sense to me anyways but i found that the days that i actually set out time for my schedule to go to the gym to maybe do yoga at this time to go for this dance class that kind of helps with my brain i don't know how it works internally but it really really works for me so i'm sharing that with you today that that might be something that would help with you in addition to you know the other things that i mentioned previously the next one will be for you to take your first welcome week orientation week activities seriously I've made a video, I've done a video about, you know, what to expect in your first week of law school, potentially, and the importance of attending those events and still will be welcoming you into the school, introducing you to what it will look like. If you have the opportunity, please do not miss it. Attend them. Heck, you already paid your tuition to be there in the school. So take 
use of that opportunity because it comes once in a lifetime unless in your second year you're volunteering to help first year students come in but that will always be different from you being there for the first time so take use of that it might be a good way for you to also build up your survival skills for law school because you'll be introduced to what could potentially happen the next one will be for you to join into student society students groups depending on what your school offers like I said in previous videos, our student societies at University of Birmingham are paid for. So students have to pay for themselves. It could go from five pounds to 60 something pounds, I think, depending on society you want to join. You don't have to join a lot. You're not probably going to have time to attend to each and every society. Some societies also have joint events together. So you might not really miss much from joining another, from joining, you know, so you're joining women in law, you don't want to join another specific one. You're not missing too much. Find the one that kind of suits your values, go for their welcome event, and if it's something that you drive with, you can join those groups and create healthy friend groups from there that could potentially help you through your time at law school. My next point will be for you to get enough rest and sleep. This is funny coming from me because you fact that during my time in school, I wasn't sleeping properly, but I know the repercussions I faced for that. I know that if I had gotten enough sleep, obviously, you know, it gives your brain time to rest, rejuvenate, and all of that good stuff. But generally, if you can find a healthy sleeping pattern and to stick by it, then that would be very, very good for you during your time at university as a law student. The next step will be for you to always take breaks to avoid being burnt out. If your body is telling you to sleep, if your body is telling you to rest, if your body is telling you to step away from the screen, your eyes are telling you they are literally watery, listen to your body. Because if you don't listen to your body, your body will force you to listen to it. And you don't want to get to that stage where you're burnt out. It's going to be very, very difficult for you to come back from that. But when you see the signs, pick on those cues and listen. Obey your body, take a walk, take some fresh air. Go out, see if you've been cooking a lot, eat out, spoil yourself for some time, and that will be good for you as a general survivor mood mentality, essentially. My next point will be maintain healthy, connected relationships with people. If you come across people who are bringing you down, they're not adding any value to yourself, it's good for you to distance yourself from those kind of people and those kind of mentalities. If you find that you are the one doing that, then change your ways. But if you find healthy relationships and friend groups that you have during your course of university, then take advantage of that. Be useful in that friend group as well as appreciating other people and maintaining that connection during your law school and even beyond that. That would be a good tip for you to survive your time in school. You can't do it all alone. It takes a village, literally. And sometimes in this village, you have to build it with other people. Yes. The next step will be for you to have a healthy routine, like I said before, healthy diet, you know, healthy sleeping pattern, whatever it is, it is that you think constitutes of a healthy routine for you, then it's up to you. If you say, you know, I'm more of a morning person, so if you're a morning person, then it's good for you to sleep at night in order for you to wake up healthy and nice and happy and refreshed the next day. Maintain that routine. Once you lose that routine, it's kind of difficult to get it back, but once you get there, then maintain it. That's very, very good for you. The next point I have for you is for you to engage with extracurricular activities that go beyond the law school. So for example, you might have student groups that could be taking student society members to maybe a courtroom to observe what the trial looks like, taking you to London to see what the Supreme Court looks like, taking you to parliament. It all depends on whatever they're going for. So I encourage you to engage with those extracurricular activities. It could be a Halloween event. I remember we had that for the Canadian Society in October. We had a nice Halloween event at a drink bar or something like that it felt like a club too it was really really nice so it's just a good way for you to get out of school meet people in different spaces have a different feel of what people are like outside and that would definitely definitely help you to survive school mentally everything doesn't have to be book 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 school 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 or school event only take it outside and have a good time <laughs> The next will be for you to be kind to yourself. Always reward yourself and celebrate little wins. I did this with my friends in my first year and I hope it's something that will continue in second year and slash final year. Um, every single week, once we reach the end of the week, thankfully in the first semester, we were always having lectures to end. So everyone will most likely be in class. We will just go out, literally go eat. What else do we do? So in most of my videos, we watch them from, you know, 
back in you know 2023 you would see us eating a lot that's not all we do in law school those were just times that we went out to celebrate and reward ourselves oh my god we're done with second week of law school what an achievement we'll go out have a couple of drinks and eat those are the little little things that would truly pull you through your school time those are the good memories that you would remember take a lot of pictures and have a good time that would really really help you with your mental state of mind most of the time because you're able to balance yourself you know as a human being essentially the next point will be for you to be aware of your school support system in case of emergency so for example university of birmingham uh, go to contact with the uh, personal academic tutor or the well-being committee who they're there to guide and help students take note of this one way for you to find out about this would be during your student orientation your welcome week activities they will come and visit they will tell you you know they will have different lectures about your well-being societies not well it's like it's the well-being committee at your school Places that you would generally go to if you think that you might, you're about to have a mental health crisis or a breakdown, you would contact these people first. So it's good for you to take note of those school provided support system as, as well as your own support systems, which could be your family, your friends and loved ones, just people in general that you can talk to when you're going through it. So when you're about to go through it, people that would not judge you. That's really, really, really important. I know that during my first year of law school, I was complaining a lot to family. You know, I don't know what I got myself into. I'm not understanding this, but nobody ever put me down. They kind of let me go through all my emotions and my feelings, no matter how much I complained. But at the end of the day, I pulled through. So I was very, very lucky to have a good supportive system, even though they were all far away from me. That was fine. Thanks to technology. The second last point would be for you to take your vitamins. As you're getting older, the importance of vitamins Comes very, 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 you know, severe, very, very important. So, if you're staying in a place like the UK that's allergic to sun, then obviously your vitamin Ds are good for you. <laughs> your vegetables, your proteins, you know, introducing those things into your diet. I spoke about diet earlier on. These are the things that can cause you to be agile and to, to avoid being fatigued. These are things that will help you during your time. If you know you take supplements, continue to take them, you need prescriptions, take down those prescriptions and have a good mental state to protect. Your mind because you need that mind throughout your law school experience and finally if you're feeling down discuss it with trusted people only if you built good friendships and you have good connections like i've said in previous videos and in today's video as well then that shouldn't be a problem for you we've reached the end of today's video i hope that you enjoyed watching and you were able to gain something useful and helpful from it if there's anything i've missed if there's any tips that you have on how we should survive law school and some key mental health tips that i didn't mention in this video or that you would like to expand upon please let us know in the comment section it might be helpful to me myself or anyone else watching or who will be reading the comments in the future if you've watched up to this point thank you so much if you've not subscribed please remember to subscribe please like this video please share this video Leave me a comment if it's your first time watching let me know i'll respond to you and finally turn your notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a video remember to share as well thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you all in my next video bye